Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is George Overbeck and today's video is going to be a fun taste testing video. I recently spent the winter in Hawaii and we were in a place on the west side of the island of Oahu called Koalina. Koalina has hotels and lagoons and shops and restaurants. I'm vegan and I decided that while I was going to be in Koalina, I would try all the vegan options at different restaurants so that if you are vegan or vegetarian or flexitarian or just like trying a vegan option every once in a while then this video can be used as a resource to find good vegan options at the restaurants in Colina. This video was filmed over the course of a couple weeks so if I look different during these times that's why. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more taste testing videos, please let me know in the comments and let's just get right into it. Our first stop on this trying vegan options in Colina is a place called Farm to Barn. I have been there before, but only been one time. I went to Farm to Barn on a Thursday at 10 a.m. and there was nobody else there at this time. The service was super fast and I was the only one in line. And they have many different vegan options like overnight oats and smoothies. And would it be possible to get an acai bowl with no honey on it? Yeah. And then also, do you just have like regular coffee? No. No? Okay. Don't serve coffee. That's okay. Maybe let's try the matcha latte, please. Yes, you heard that right, they don't serve coffee, so keep that in mind when going to Farm to Barn. I got the iced matcha latte. It has almond milk and maple syrup in it. I personally haven't tried tons of different matcha lattes, but this one was really nice. The matcha flavor was light and it wasn't too sweet either. And I also got the acai bowl with no honey. I really liked the crunch from the granola, but the acai base was pretty standard. It was more of a smoothie bowl consistency than acai bowl, but I liked the assortment of fruit on top. For the acai bowl and a matcha latte, it was $21 pre-tip. For the second restaurant we're trying, it's called 808 Craft House, and I'm going here for lunch today, so we'll see what fun lunch options they have for me. Hi, uh, just a table for one, please. Outside would be beautiful yeah. if that's possible. Come right this way. Thank you. For 808 Craft House, I went on Tuesday at 2.15 p.m., which was actually their happy hour. I got a table right away, and I was actually able to choose where I wanted to sit, and overall, the atmosphere was super laid back. I ordered at 2.30, and my food came five minutes later at 2.35. The server was super helpful with all the vegan options. He told me that the roasted beet poke, the hummus, the vegetarian burger minus cheese and aioli sauce, and many other things could be made vegan. I got the beet poke, which had a nice crunch on the chips. The beets were perfectly cooked, and I really liked the vinegar flavor but it only came with four chips so it was definitely a small portion and I also had the superfood salad which was a good portion size I really liked the crunch from the almonds the perfect amount of dressing and it kind of tasted healthy but in a good way the total was $28 pre-tip all right restaurant number three in Colina we are going to be trying eggs and things today let's do it for eggs and things, we went on Sunday at 9.30 a.m. I definitely recommend making a reservation midweek or getting on the wait list on the weekends. The waitress and staff were super nice and their vegan options are the acai bowl, fruit cup, pineapple, and papaya. I had a cup of black coffee. It was super smooth, great taste, and not watery or overpowering. So I'm trying eggs and things not by myself today. I have my mom and my sisters with me. I'll show you what they got. These items are not vegan, but still fun to show you. We have some blueberry crepes. We have an acai waffle and some potatoes, bacon, and eggs. I had the acai bowl, which came with a great acai base, granola, banana, strawberries, blueberries, pineapple, and honey, but you can totally ask to get the honey off if you'd like. The acai itself had a great consistency. It was nice and thick. It also had a strong macadamia nut taste from the granola. All the flavors really worked well together, and it was $10.95 for the acai and $4 for the coffee. Okay, the next restaurant that we're gonna be going to is called Tropic Poke, and you may be thinking, poke, isn't that raw fish? This restaurant, Tropic Poke, has two options for tofu instead of the poke, which is awesome. So let's see what we can get. I went to Tropic Poke at 2 p.m. on a Friday, and again, I was served right away. There was no line. I'll do the regular tofu and then the fried tofu, please. Cucumber, pineapple, and then I'll do the edamame and corn as well, please. I'll try the miso garlic then, please. First I tried the little spring roll that I got. It had a nice crunch. It was a pretty basic spring roll flavor and it was kind of tiny, but it was good. And then for the poke bowl, I really liked the dressing and the pineapple added some nice fresh flavor. The texture overall was good and it was a good size bowl as well. And it was $21.72 pre-tip. Today I'm gonna be going to Monkey Pod, which I think is one of the most popular 
popular restaurants in Colina. It's always busy. I've been there once, but it was before I was vegan and it was years ago. So it'll be nice to go back and see what they have for me to eat now. For Monkey Pod, I went on Monday at 2.10 p.m. and I was served again right away. I really liked the live music and the nice outdoor ambiance. Their vegan options are the tortilla soup, fries, they can make vegan tacos, different salads, and the side broccoli. I got the farm organic kale salad. It came with a little piece of bread. It tasted like pizza crust. The dressing was vinegary and citrusy. The orange tasted super fresh and it was a good size. It was $18.51 pre-tip. And lastly, I went to Mexico cantina on Sunday at 12:50. I was served right away it was beautiful inside and the server was super knowledgeable about the vegan options and it had really nice music playing inside oh, thank you you're welcome I ordered chips and guac and it came three minutes later overall it was a great portion for sharing it came with regular salsa it would have was nice and citrusy and had a cilantro taste it came with a grilled salsa which is a little spicy and then guacamole which had good flavor like citrusy and cilantro and it was chunky I also got the veggie tacos. They came about 10 minutes later. They had three tacos filled with peppers, onions, and topped with cilantro and onion. They had a nice grilled flavor and a strong onion flavor, and it was 32.35 pre-tip. Mm -hmm. 